Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all. How you doing? Nice to see so many of you in here already. I, uh, the dog thrust at me a minute ago and I'm inside, so go and let him out first thing in the morning. You don't want a mess on the floor. That's what happens when we all get old. Can't hold it in. Right. Welcome along, welcome along. Welcome back to Deer Creek for another episode here. I need to sort out my timing release with my episodes on this. <laughs> silly only releasing my last uh last recorded episode yesterday and then doing a live stream today but anyhow here we are thank you scott for all the ads really enjoy seeing those gives me a good laugh hope you guys enjoy seeing them too how are we all doing nice to have you all here yo taz how you doing buddy nice to see you disturbed how are you scott george welcome along buddy swiss mizzy hello the O'Donnell boys i've seen your excitement in the chat welcome along karen how you doing dan Nice to see you as well, Junt. A pleasure as always to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who else have we got here that I might have missed? Legion is floating around. Hey, done, buddy. Welcome to. Good to have you in here as well. And I think the rest of it was just mindless chatter, talking about barbecues and all sorts. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat myself a lot today. But if you haven't watched FSG's latest little video on why mods. Why modders use Facebook and why mods are PC only? Can I suggest you uh, go and watch it? Although I know everyone in chat is well educated and probably doesn't need to be taught why or answer those questions. But uh, go and share it with your friends. If I reckon it should be the lead item on the network news. Everyone should watch it. Scream it from the rooftops. Go and tell them why. <laughs> why we can't have everything on console. Why modders use Facebook, especially the private Facebook groups? Um, go and watch it. Go and watch it. In fact, type in exclamation mark FSG and get a link to his channel. Matthew Strode, welcome along. Nice to see you. How are you, Keith Crozier, aka oh, Clearview? We were just messaging. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Scott's already watched it. Good man. Good, good man. He asked us for a little bit of advice on it, so I, we had a little bit of a sneak preview yesterday of it. So. What are we doing here on Deer Creek? Because we've made an upgrade. I don't know, again, Facebook release. <laughs> but it's uh, this is coming to Mod Hub. But uh, Custom Modding have released their Tiger Mate. So we've sold our Vader stat, traded it in. You can see the gap over there beyond. And uh, we are running the case now. Fantastic looking mod. Custom Modding have outdone themselves again. Put the rear hitch on here. I don't know what we're going to use that for. But I, um, I've had some ideas actually. Because the other thing we've got. We run over here. We've got a contractor here. Well, that's the story I'm playing. Um, I didn't want to buy a $140,000 roller. So we've got a contractor and he's brought his challenger. Left it here for us to roll this field. Might actually set it up on course play. With our barley, you can see we've got our yield bonus. Uh, but it needs rolling. So we're going to throw that roller in there and uh, get them started. And we're going to go over and till up the sorghum field that we harvested in the last episode. So as we get this done. And um, make a start on this, and then we're going to do the tillage. He didn't mention in the video, Scott. Um, he was going to do. He was mentioned he might have done a splash screen before or after. I don't know if he's put it in the description or what the story is. At least a video on people being ungrateful. So many ungrateful comments on. I take it with a grain of salt, Jim. Um, I really do. But you're right, there is, there's a real, um, real air of expectation or entitlement would probably be the best word. Did I see that the roller went through the back hitch, this roller? Or uh, are you talking about a roller basket on the back of the, the Tiger Mate? We'll go have a look. Right. So I've got the latest version of course play, which I haven't even had a chance to use yet either. Um, 23, I think it is. I didn't say in there. Um, but indeed, I do have that installed. So we're going to uh, going to have a play with that. Get it up. So course play field work. Start at first waypoint for this. Uh, got that. Silly. My cursor gone. Yeah. 
lost my mouse. Don't want that to happen, you end up at the doctor. Right, it's uh, open course by field work, 80 foot wide, I think that might be about right, it's a pretty big beast. And in fact, it's being 80 foot wide. This is one thing I thought, actually, it's almost the right width we could have hooked up behind the air seater and rolled straight after we planted. Would have been pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing, surely there's someone's going to come out with the uh, planter or seater that has a roller attached on the back of it and does it in one go. That would be the ideal thing to do. Thanks, welcome along buddy, nice to see you as always. What if you put the trailer on the Challenger on the... <laughs> put the trailer... Oh, the roller. Oh. It was the dog. Uh, right, bang crash. Remember, let's see what we're doing. Two healing passes, clockwise. We will do... Uh, actually, I'm going to do skip rows. Build center, up and down. Okay, up and down, there we go. Rows to skip. Skip one, because it's a nice big piece of equipment. Start work on headlands multiple tools. This is what I like that I've added. Would have made things a whole lot easier for my uh, combine video, but anyhow, here we go. Right. Uh, all right, field work. Let's see what happens here. Probably going to break something. All the roller behind the cultivator, all the cedar work. See, you'd have to. Don't you have to roll after you've planted? Or can you roll before you plant? I don't know how much work, I don't know how much bonus you get for rolling afterwards either. It's cool. All right, let's see. We escape out of there now. Oh, have I lost my little mini HUD course now? Someone actually, FSG had this issue, didn't he? Turn off. Global settings, open HUD with mouse, that one there. Here we go. I like the... Uh, it, the new little HUD's kind of nice. I like the other one though, actually. I thought the other one worked quite well. Right, uh, temporary core. Got my temporary core. First waypoint. Go. There we go. Done. This way I don't miss anything either, because how hard is it to see where you've been? Difficult, difficult, difficult. like mulching yeah it's it's not much it really isn't much but i just wanted to play with a little di different bit of equipment good chance to try something else out made it missed opportunity to promote the discord modders channel i'm sure that'll um it'll, it'll still get some traction out of it scott unfortunately i think the people the ones who complain aren't the ones who know how to use those you know discord or even how to set up a fake Facebook page or something like that, it's a bit, um, it's a bit silly in that regard, but anyhow. MRG, the man, the myth, the legend, it's Arxy Gaming with that sweet smooth accent to start my day off right with a cup of coffee on the side and let's go, how you done mate? I started reading that and I thought it was one of um, Scorp's ad, how you done buddy, nice to have you here. How are we going on Ashton Corners? Looking forward to seeing that. Legacy's killing it with those, um, those placeables or the buildings. If you count time and money, it's not worth it. You're probably quite right there, Jan. Very right, especially on a field this big. Interesting to see what our course play wages are going to be on it because we don't have much money. Ah, <laughs> there's there's emojis there. Do you sing in the shower, sing louder than others in the choir? Then go to emojis, lyrical den and show off your singing prowess. Too far over to sing. Uh, I'm just not good enough to sing, mate. That's my, my excuse. I used to mulch and roll all my fields, but I don't think it's worth the cost of time. It's so expensive for a coop on small fields and too much time to mulch roll big fields. Yeah, that's where it'd be good. Like, um, so how wide is this? This roller. Let's have a quick look. The 24.3 metres. We have a look. Going. Cedars, cedars. 25.6, see, doesn't quite match. 
doesn't quite match, but imagine if they had some rollers on the back of here or something like that. It would roll at the same time. Be nice. What's that one? 12. Double the width. You rolled your grass fields because you get the benefit for it. That's a good point. Because the grass regrows. Because any crop that regrows, you get the benefit. Someone made the interesting point I saw on a chat the other day is um, it was asking for their poplars to be rolled. Like, <laughs> I'm planting little uh, four inch high seedlings and then we're going to run a big heavy roller over top of it. Look at that one out. Ain't gonna happen. This feels too tedious. One and a half percent bonus. Of base yield, so it's only one and a half percent. Oh, well, that's why we're paying someone else to come in and do it. Or we're trying to pay someone else to come in and do it. The thing is with the rollers, you know, I really like is the animations and the mod. I think like they're actually quite nicely detailed mods. You know, I've got the hydraulic hoses there. The animations on the folding and everything are pretty nice. You know, it's only the front wheels are running there. Actually, I wonder why the front wheels are running. I would have thought that'd all be off the ground. Got a big roller at the back. But I suppose, choice of course play, you can leave things going. I think I did 17 miles per hour. Well, I'm going to do it at 7. I didn't actually see, that's the one thing I do miss. There's nothing that tells me how long the course is going to take. It'll come, it'll come. Right, let's go find our other tractor. Is it, oh, there, I see. Yes, when it's folded up, the baskets there go through the hit. You did spot correctly whoever it was that pointed that out. We'll ignore it. So other than that, it's a very well detailed mod. It's almost like they only added the hitch at the last minute and didn't think about those. Difficulties? If it went on a uh, diagonal, we'd, we'd miss it. Although the tine, even the tines go through it up there, don't they? Right. Let us head over to the other field and we'll go and get set up over there. We'll run some GPS and do a lot of the driving ourselves. The Ford Egg are getting closer to release, which is exciting. Good to see. I had to turn traffic off, um, I haven't turned it back on yet either, but doing the recording for the auto drive, um, turning out out of the field onto the uh, road was too difficult, unfortunately. I think the dog's hungry, I might have to go feed him. Go get down to the field and uh, we'll sort him out down there. Christoph is the Tiger Mate by Custom Modding. It is the type Custom Modding one. They released it on Facebook on Friday, Thursday, later in the week. It was released on Facebook. It is in its giants for testing at the moment. But as they did with the uh, with the um, Landol low loader, they have released it for PC players on Facebook early. Good morning, Farmer Taz. Welcome along. Got both the Tazers in here today. Farmer Taz and Polycount Taz. How you doing, buddy? Nice to have you. Right. Get spun in here. Right. Let's watch this animation. Good beast. Wobble. So how wide is this? Let's see, under cultivators. 18.2, so we couldn't even pair the roller. Well, we could pair the roller with this, we'd just overlap a little bit on the outside. Which wouldn't matter if you over-rolled, but uh, under-rolling would be a little bit annoying. And you don't have to have, see it doesn't have the hitch on the back there. I could have done it just with the tines instead of the roller as well. But as soon as you put the hitch on, you do get that clash. Right. 
in that compared to we did have that one which was 14 meters wide so we've got a bigger cultivator interestingly cheaper as well why we were able to trade it in for uh, the same price or for no extra money Janice Farms, how you doing my friend? Welcome along to the stream. You having a nice weekend? Alright, tidy up that edge when we come back around. Let's get going. Backwards Boy 201 Gaming. Hey pal, how are you? I'm doing well, friend. How's things in your part of the world today? Having a nice weekend, I hope. Haven't been farming on this map lately. I had, ch had to chase down a mod that was crashing my game fix. Now, what uh, what mod was that, Scott? And do I have to ask you where you got it from? Have you been a naughty boy? Are you not uh, downloading your mods from reputable sources? We have to stage an intervention chat. What are we getting? What do we tell Scott? I spent hours yesterday trying to get um I haven't played with Terrafarm yet. And I spent hours yesterday trying to get it going. I set some GPS while we run up along here. And on, so we just need to make our course. Am I getting attacked? It sounds like it. Concrete floors and a uh, stainless steel dog bowl. Right. Auto width. Need to remember my buttons for that. It's control. Oh, uh, R, isn't it? Or I had some dashboard going. But. Oh, I had these arrive this week. Can I show you? I've joined the joystick club. And we've got uh, two of them, left and right side. So I thought oh, it's time to try Terra Farm. I haven't tried that out yet. So I spent two hours or so yesterday trying to get it to work. Just couldn't get it. I tried different equipment. I tried all the stuff FSGs used. I've got access to the developer's version of Terra Farm. I tried the you know public release version. It just would not work. Turns out there was a little issue with Terra Farm. Uh, not my doing. So not the best first experience with it. But looking forward to getting into it and I think we might uh, might spend a little bit of time if we can get it working on uh, the No Man's Land server with Bum um, Simplice tonight. We will see. Dog just throw the bowl across the... <laughs> yeah. Feed me. Feed me human. Here's my bowl. You're right Chris, I'm surprised they didn't spot it either. I didn't quite get my GPS right on this edge. Well, we'll sort that out. Tim's not here yet, so we're not having to deal with his uh, OCD just yet. Let's just quickly spin back around and we'll go pick it up. You're playing on this too, Scorp. Very nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. The big fields, getting all the big gear out. It's a bit of a change getting back to that kind of thing. I'll say hello to you, Jim Pike. How you doing? Welcome along. Just got ATS yesterday, so I'm joining that a bit to make a run. Nice. About to make a run. Oh, just about. Oh, just about overcut the corner there. Wouldn't want to run in the neighbor's corn. I haven't played much AT. I haven't played any AT. Actually, when I say I haven't played much, I haven't played it at all. I do have it. Maybe we should have a community night. A stream on AT. Teach Argsy how to drive trucks in America. Ah, <laughs> oh, Legion's in the car park with the kids waiting on the wife to come back. Nice. Hello, Legion. Legion's kids. How are you all doing? Behave for Dad while you're in the car, please. 
Where were you flying into too? You put a screenshot up in uh, Discord. Flying in. Was that leaving Germany or flying back into Ireland? This guy's been visiting a discount barn. <laughs> um, for the Terra Farm Legion, yeah, it was. I'm a little bit behind chat from what I was saying. Um, it was. It was the. I tried both versions. Three. 0.3.6 which is the current public release and then I was trying the 4.0 as well which is the one that's just for developing at the moment couldn't track it down to a single model if I can isolate it oh, yeah interesting he said we'll be proud he said we'll be proud indeed they have to find the time though to uh, set all the controls up for it Yeah, I had in the Legion's next comment, how's the binding going? I haven't spent any more time doing it, to be honest, mate. Actually played a few games of PUBG last night with a couple of mate. Bit of a nice change. 40 watching, only 18 likes. Let's bump that up. Thank you very much, Taz. Appreciate that. Indeed, if you are enjoying the stream, as always, make sure you leave a thumbs up there. And if you're not already a subscriber, appreciate it if you were going to hit that button. And... Uh, do that for me, it would be much appreciated, it doesn't cost you a thing, this isn't Twitch, this is uh, this is YouTube and subscribers, you can get all access without uh, anything, extra required, now of course if you do want to support me a little bit more you can become a channel member as well, got that little button down the bottom, and you can hit join. Oh, mod conflict with a couple of mods. There you go. That could make sense. Alexa Atomica. Hey, how you doing? Welcome along. Tim, yeah, Tim would have felt the disturbance in his OCD since. The dog be like when I actually don't feed the dog. Get some big legs. Bro, you're going to feed me. <laughs> yeah. He's 14 and a half years old, he ain't going to be getting up on his back legs. He'd... Scorp, forget you'd be on Shelbert, but no, no Facebook, Taz. You know what? Scorp does not complain. He gets on with life and he finds another map that he enjoys and plays that. Everyone needs to be like Scorp. $229 wage payment, so we're already churned through that money. Uh, ATS is a lot more fun than I thought. It took me a while to get into the uh, little bit of ATS I played. played. Jonathan Kinward, hello Agzi, how are you this evening? I'm doing well mate, doing well. Nice, uh, nice still Sunday morning for me. Crank, cracking hot day yesterday. It's too hot to actually do anything. Did a beautiful job making the places look almost identical to real life. Yeah, nice. Junior Santos, say hello to Brazil. Aracaju Sud. No, I just go by. Don't even know what it would be. Stolen the kids' game PlayStation controller. Ready, ho ho. That was a good, good distraction for me butchering my Portuguese. But welcome along, Junior. Nice to see you, my friend. Good to have you here. Screenshot was flying out of Germany. Ah, very cool. It was a cool screenshot, Scorp. I agree. Woke up at 4am, couldn't sleep, so now I'm caught up on Bubba Fett. Yeah, I'm a couple of episodes behind. Did you know Bubba Fett's a Kiwi? Timmy Weira Morrison, the actor who plays Bubba Fett. Right here from little old New Zealand, Aotearoa. It's been a running joke since uh, he was in... 
Attack of the Clones. Whatever the second episode was. Um, when they first made the Stormtroopers because he was the, and they were all cloned on him. So it's been a running joke here in New Zealand that every single Stormtrooper in Star Wars ever has a Kiwi. My chat's about a minute behind, is it? That's a long time, it shouldn't be that far behind. <laughs> I'm still... I'm trying, so, oh, should I just skip the next five messages and go right to the bottom? I'm, I'm reading, I'm about six or seven messages back up. I haven't got to the most recent one, I just haven't been able to catch up. So I'm the one that's a minute behind, not my chat. Living in the future and <laughs> behind in chat timing. I um, I should really know what you're going to ask me then, shouldn't I, Scott? But how can I know what you're going to ask me if you haven't asked it yet? Because you haven't reached the time. No, that doesn't work. Nate Sanger, how you doing, buddy? Welcome along. Nice to have you here. All right, let's keep on ripping around here. Just about finished our first lap. Let's try and see where the um where the rollers got to. You know any good two US dollar going cart mods for fun? You might have to repeat your question, Lucas. I'm not quite sure what you're asking about. US dollar grain cart mods for farms one twenty two. Um there was a Kinsey one that's been released on Crooked Mon Crooked Mountain Modding. Oops, you didn't see me catch a tree there. Crooked Mountain Modding, I think they'd released a Kinsey grain cart actually, which looked quite nice. I haven't downloaded it just yet, that's there. Um other than that, no, I don't know what was there. There was a couple of uh, gravity wagons which Dinner's Farms had done. There was a Kilbros one. Who did the Kilbros one? Someone will correct me. Rooster Modding, was it? Can't remember. I got in the zone playing Farm Sim last night, went to people and I realised it was 3M. I've been there and done that with uh, plenty of games before Scott. In fact, I did it on Friday night too. Recently got a joystick as well, I like using it for all those annoying mouse controls. Exactly. It's a perfect reason to use it, Ernest. Michael Trinity, hello Mr. Args, greetings from South Africa. Well, kia ora from New Zealand. Michael, welcome along. Nice to have one of our South African friends here. In fact, I haven't, uh, there was a time there where we had a lot of South African viewers in the chat. Uh, so much so we'd end up having, well, I wouldn't. I'd end up having chat with some Afrikaans. But it hasn't happened for a wee while. In fact, one of my earliest subscribers, um, Yako, who's a moderator for the YouTube channel, um, when he when he's around, it doesn't come in too often, but uh, he's one of my early subscribers. Have I found a straight line on the field to use GPS yet? I'm running down this edge, I put the GPS on, so we're hands free at the moment. I think this was probably the straightest one. Where are we? We're in this field. It was either it was either two long edges, because then we'll be able to get down into these little bits. Nice and neatly. Um oh we we did we oh the rollers made it around once. Nice. After an empire they took over, they got rid of the clone or recruits. Ah, there you go. But the Kiwis didn't last very long at all then, Scorp. <laughs> this time continuing discussion gets even weirder when watching this on roof. <laughs> now, Mr. Boyce Diamond. Dia Diamond. Hello from Ireland, welcome along. Nice to have you here. There you go, Taz has got you for that. Kinsey Green Cut, look at River Bottom Abbott on their Facebook page. 
You've read a few books. Tied on morning did the Kill Bros one then tears. Matthew's game is Civilization 5. Play that for eight hours later tonight. Uh, that's good though, isn't it? Isn't it nice to have a uh, variety of games to play? I've got like, you know, obviously this is what I sink most of my time in. For obvious reasons. Um, but I've got a group of mates that I've played with for years. We still play, uh, play on PlayStation together probably once a week. And another mate that I used to play a lot on PlayStation with, when I play PUBG with, he's on PC now. We'd have at least four or so South Africans in. We would. Well, there you go, Nico. Uh, Nico, welcome along. map reminds you of Good Hope I hope I'm not familiar with that map JNS not one that rings a bell do you know there was something like there's over 300 maps if you go and have a look at Farmer Klein's channel he did over 300 map tools in Farming Simulator Farming Simulator 19 just goes to show you how many maps there were that were released it's nuts man it's really crazy that's why my uh, map directory I only have done for 22 burgers. I had the idea about a year ago, but when I looked into it and realised how many maps there were, I was, there's no way I'm going to go back through every single map on 19 and add it in. It's a uh, tough enough job to do the 22 so far and keep up with the ones that are coming out. The map, this map's not big, but the fields do go on forever. They certainly do. Is this the new 2021 9RX? No, nah, this is the uh, Giants in game one. Nico, haven't seen uh, haven't seen Sid Modding's one yet. He loves his map reviews, to be fair. He does, yep. It's a niche market for him. Done very well on it. And he's fair and consistent. I've had a good chat to him on Discord. It's nice having him in the uh, Mods and Links Discord, but uh, we've yeah, been chatting and he's quite happy for me to use his map reviews and I was just talking to him about how he goes about finding maps and and what permissions, if any, or discussions he might have with map makers. Interesting to find out how few of his map reviews are from people reaching out to him and saying, would you do a review on this map for us? Which I thought would have been more, I thought, you know, if there's someone like him who's got a reputation for just, you know, touring every map possible, he um, might have had more contact from people to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Legion. I would say give it to the kids in the back seat so they can watch, but uh, you probably find they'll end up watching Minecraft. We don't want that. Oh, you stumbled across it one day. Donald Boys, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Nice to have you here as always. Always enjoy jumping into the stream and seeing you chatting away. You got some inside, inside information on Good Hope by Central Ohio Modern, do you, Kyle? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Nice to have you here. You're on 19 until I get a new PC. I keep you a few saves. Mercer on Autumn Oaks. Dennis Farms. Edit. The Boiler Farms. Good Hope Ho And No Creek. Nice. I love No Creek. Such a good map. It's had such a nice vibe and feel to it. Then I finally managed to catch up. The last message I can see is JNS Farms. That makes sense, Kyle. Lol. It's taken a while, but here we are, all up to date. We well, welcome along, everyone. Hope you're all having a nice weekend. Nice to have you all here again. Well, 
One thing, um, we've been spending a bit of time in Legion now that he's gone and on silent, I can talk about him. Um, huge thanks to Legion as well. He's spent a lot of time in the last couple of weeks helping out with the multiplayer servers. And I'm hoping next weekend we'll uh, be streaming from one of them. So we've got three multiplayer servers set up. We have got Yukon River Valley Artelia Lands. I think that's how it's pronounced. And Calmston Farms. The Calmston Farms one is set up as a crossplay server. I thought that'd be a good little map to use for uh, PC and console players. We've got that one set up and running, and obviously the other two. So, next weekend's plan is to try and stream from one of those. Um, not sure which one yet. Probably, probably either the Artelia Art or Calmston. We'll see how we go. But see, again, apart from having. 10 minutes taking some screenshots and um, so I haven't even played it. So if you're interested in joining any of those multiplayer servers, I'm going to put a little, I don't know whether I'm going to do a little video, I might do a community post this week, just uh, inviting people to get into those because uh, they're sitting there, they're there for you to use, don't have any requirements for you to be a uh, financial channel member or anything like that it's open to anyone open to all so uh put a post up about it this week sometime and make some plans to stream from it next week so if you wanted to join in on that they're always fun getting in on the multiplayer streams we'll have to pick a map but we've got lots to do on whether it's a big harvest or uh doing some silage or something like that one of those good multiplayer activities lazy sunday jns nice Loving Calmston at the moment, but like this map for 1x, the fields look feel amazingly big. Take a while to work through with small equipment. That's what I like about it, eh? Is, um, and these are the UK maps. My first map I played on, I've talked about this before, was Shamrock Valley, which was a, um, just by chance, was an Oxygen David map. And I loved it. I put, I put over 200 hours on PlayStation before I started doing the YouTube thing, playing on that map. That and Lone Oak were my first two maps I really played. Apart from uh, putting hot needles in my eyes on Ravensport. Scooter's Workbench. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you my friend. Welcome along. Hope you're having a nice weekend as well. Good to see you. Alright, how's the roll again? He's moving his way around, almost on, well, halfway around the second headland pass. I'll tell you what I'll probably do after <laughs> after the stream's finished, and hopefully we can get this field done. How long have we been going for so far? Oh, I haven't got the right box up to see that. Where's that? It's about 40 minutes. Gosh, that time's flying. Um... Now hopefully we get this field finished, I don't even know if we will now, having a look at that. But uh, once we're done, we will probably leave the roller going. I'll just leave the game running and get that finished. So our next episode will be... Not sure what we've got to do. We're going to have to fertilise that field. We're going to have to spray the weeds. I have left weeds on. I want to try them out. I haven't done them properly in 22 yet. And I want to use the big Rubicon spray we've got. So it's a chance to do that. Oh, excuse me. Playing Farmson since Westbridge Hills in 13, I believe, was the American map then. Yeah, 19 was my first foray into farming sim. What was it? Uh, it was on special on PlayStation Store. I had a mate who played a lot on Xbox. And he was always talking about it. So I thought, oh, let's give it a whirl. Australia, you prefer smaller maps with bigger fields, bigger maps with loads of fields, you only have one little... Yeah, I agree, that, that is the challenge. Um, that's why I often like on a... This one's not too bad, because you zoom out, like we own, what do we have, field... Uh, uh, on the wrong course, on there. Yeah, so we, we own field one, four, you, you figured that out, we probably own a quarter of the map. Um, I need to install the field, additional field info mod, because that'll tell me the areas of these. Um, but that's part of the reason, like, I'd 
instead of doing field, I don't know what we could have done. We could have done five, seven, or we could have done one and two, so they're all next to the yard. But I like doing like an outlying field, so you have to drive along the road, you have to go and see more. This one's not, this map's not too bad because, uh, you know, we've only got the cell point in the shop up there and the um, co op down here. So you run the two roads and the fields are big and open. So it's not too bad, but I do agree. On some of those bigger maps like, um, well, West Texas was a prime example. You know, FSG and I did, what, 25 episodes on that and never once went up into the town. I said no need to. But. Dan, welcome along, buddy. Hope you are having a good day. Welcome along. Nice to have you here in stream. Aiden, hi, how are you? I am doing fine, thanks buddy. Always a good fun start to a Sunday morning for me to get up and uh, spend some time in the stream and chatting to you all. How are you? That's the more important question though. How's your weekend going? A map I'd really like to get into, I really enjoyed the tour I did of... Um, South Louisiana. I thought that's a cracking map for Louisiana Mapping's first first up map. I don't know if MRG's still watching in his hungover state, but uh, your young apprentice is becoming the master, mate. He's done a cracking job. I completely overlooked my map tour as well, and I know Kaduk picked it up in his um, the additional fill types he had in there. I knew he was working on rice. And he's already got it in game. I saw some great screenshots a couple of days ago. He put on Facebook, so that's pretty cool. The textures look really nice too that he's used. I don't know where he's got those from. Um, but the other ones like the fish, seaweed. Uh, what was the oil? There was an oil he had in there. And um, it's one more thing I'm thinking of. Oh, crude oil. Because he had an oil well in there. So no, he's, done a, he's done a fantastic job. It'd be great. It'd be such a good map for console, but I know that's probably unlikely to happen. Um, to change out a whole lot of those custom buildings he's made. What time is it with me at the moment? It is... 7.44am. Yeah. On Sunday morning. This map I combined for 3, 4, 5, and 6 to make a mega field. 3, 4, 5, and 6. Oh, that would be nasty, Scott. That'd keep you busy. Wow. You might as well have just played um, flat map and just done one big field. On well, No Man's Land, and just cut and you know, use the uh, remove all trees option. Did anyone want, who watched uh, anyone catch the farm some show yesterday? DJ's rant on that construction map. Um... I feel exactly the same way, I'm sorry. I'm sure someone was proud of their work and put some effort into it, but that giants have just tripped over their own feet there. It's just, it's... It's bloody tough for guys like Taylor Farms who have done Franken, Frankenmyth and... Uh, what was the other one that was submitted recently for console and they've just walked away? But it's just a, it's a, literally a kick in the teeth for these guys that they won't, yeah, they let something like that onto the mod hub. Yet, Frankenmuth, which you know, is a it would be a fantastic map for console players. I'm, I'm like I'm literally serious. If you watched FSG's tour of that one, um, it doesn't float my boat. I don't know why because it's very similar to this and big and open. But um, I just think it wasn't could have been a little bit more polished during some of the. Um, towns and those kind of things they just felt a bit flat to me but console players would have been the perfect perfect map for them it? it sucks anyhow that construction map 
If your studio was ahead of its time, had some really nice mods around balers with in cab monitors, you could clog up the intake trying to go too fast if you brought a tractor with a jewel, so come on a pallet. Is that right? That's pretty cool. That's very cool. One thing I do miss from 19 additional crop types. They won't take long to come. Strody, I know, uh, Wild West, Kaz, 64. Um, his map's got quite a few, or he's adding a lot onto it. Um, there's one I was looking at that had some on it yesterday. You know, you've already got all of the mining fill types, so it, it won't take long. It seems to be pretty straightforward to be able to transfer that information from 19 to 22. And in fact, I was looking at the XML on this map um, at how the anhydrous was done. And it's pretty much exactly the same as far as I could tell with my uh, inexperienced coding eye that it was all pretty much exactly the same as what we did on 19. So. Righty ho, let's uh... Oh, we're cracking across. So once you get onto the up and down rows on a field like this, it actually doesn't go too, take too long. Come on guys and gals, hit that like button. Thank you, Jan, for the reminder. Yes, please. If you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, uh, take the time to press that subscribe button. Keep up to date with everything I'm doing. I've already got some uh, more maps in... I'm almost going to say in progress. I don't have any maps in progress, so don't listen to me on that. But uh, a few more map tours. I've already been in touch with, um, with a few others. Including one that's a little bit closer to home, so keep an eye out for that in a few weeks' time, I'm hoping. Been in touch with the map maker for one. A down under, so I'm looking forward to getting that actually. Be nice to have one closer to home. Um and also a chance to take a look at a couple more mods in the not too distant future, so make sure you've uh, make sure you're subscribed, keep up to date with those. When they come on out. It's not Sunday, it's Saturday. Sunday, it's Sunday where I am, Creighton. <laughs> Jonathan's 6.45 on a Saturday. So you are in the UK then, my friend, aren't you? You're in 13 hours behind us. Or somewhere in that time zone. How do I know that? Because FSG and I have to coordinate our timing for recording our live stream. Our, um, wait, well, when we do our live streams together, but for recording No Man's Land. Creating 1.45 p.m. on Saturday. Saturday afternoon. All nice that you're hanging out here on a Saturday afternoon. I know someone was mentioning earlier that it was a... Was it O'Donnell boys were saying it was almost blizzard-like conditions where they are. So perfect thing to be doing on a blizzardly snowy Saturday afternoon. Sitting inside watching your favourite farm summer. I think they did have a set the needed low bar requirement for or map in 22, I bet flat map for 22 actually failed on this, it's the new minimum. Yeah, you're right Dan, they have set a new bar, but that's the problem, is they're not consistent with that. Unfortunately, you will find that there will be a... What that map's got away with, others won't. And you'll find it with mods, you know, DJ pulled up to you so I'm going to repeat what he said on the 8R that came out during the week it's the base game 8R what did they change but if anyone could go in there and tell me what they've changed on that 8R to make it on mod, mod hub how many of the modders like um how many mods have I seen that people have commented and said it's it's not unique enough silly Michael Villafana hey from North Texas welcome along Nice to have a fellow Texan, another Texan in here. John's very suspect when it comes to what makes it on my pub. Yep, and that's your prerogative. Um, when you've got a team of testers, you're always going to get some inconsistencies. So, What interested me is some of these things like, uh, is the date that the mod review was generated on. So I think it was Frankenmuth when he posted his screenshot of what they had to say on his map up. Um, it was dated like the 23rd of December. So they must go through where they do a, all I can think of is they've got someone who goes through and does an initial review, writes up their notes and then they've probably got a final Q&A process to go through and say, you know, is that everything? Yes, we agree with your assessment, let's send it back to the modder. And that's taken a month. 
Hundreds of Giants will bring in hundreds to the base game with precision farming. The minimaps maps that added it in 19 is insane, so hopefully they took notice. I hope so too, Scooter. I hope. My biggest hope for precision farming is more variety in fertilizers. So I want to be able to put your potassium and whatever your different ones are. <laughs> we talked about it last time. But you know, actually he's going right, I'm planting I'm planting wheat, so my blend of fertilizer is different to what I'd put on if I was using corn. So you actually have to go through and buy it as a blended fertilizer. Get the different benefits of those. I think that would be pretty cool. And the other thing I'd like to see them introducing in precision farming is um, more specifics around pests like fungicides you know you get a disease in your crop and having to apply fun like if I, if they could sporadically or randomly cause disease I think that would be better than weeds I'd rather have to spray a crop once every three seasons because it had a fungus in it or it had pests insecticides or something like that or whatever I'd rather do that once every three seasons on a crop because you got a notification to say your your local uh, local supplier for such and such has gone out and they've checked your field and they've discovered something or that there's a warning because of the weather conditions you can have a high probability of such and such a disease go and treat your fields I think that'd be cool And after all that chat, I've taken too long talking to miss what everyone else has been saying. Oh, yeah. Zach Schultz, aloha amigos. Hello, welcome along. Nice to see you, Zach. 12.50pm for Saturday for you, Michael. That's in Texas. Nice. East Coast was getting hammered by a nor'easter. Nasty. Yeah, nasty. Mr. Marcel posted himself on the forums that duplicates are allowed if they deem enough changes to the ADR, which I didn't download, probably has colour and time difference, was apparently good enough. <sighs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have to have a look, Dan. I didn't think it did have any differences. I mean, I haven't, to be fair, I haven't downloaded it, so take what I say as a grain of salt. But DJ normally does his mod reviews and is pretty up on well, up to date with those kind of things. So. Aussie 75, happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday to you, my friend. Welcome along. Michael, where am I from? I am from New Zealand. So if you're familiar with us, we have two islands, or two main islands, North and South Island. Yes, the English, when they colonised us, were very inventive with naming our islands. Uh, I'm on the bottom part of the North Island, about just under a two-hour drive from the capital city. In ten minutes from, what are we, about the sixth biggest city in New Zealand? Which has a population of less than a hundred thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand people. It's nuts. I read an interesting article yesterday about using black eyed peas as a substitute for fertilizer. I wanna start singing. Just trying to think of an appropriate black eyed peas song. It's the old AR just been released though. So it's a different year. I thought it was the same exactly the same year as the model was the one that's in the um mod hub. Would be cool to have an irrigation, would be a good one to add into actually, Scott. And you can see how um, Louisiana Mapping did it in, well not irrigation, but how he's flooded the fields for the rice. But that'd be cool to, um, you know, being an organic option. Disease would be cool as long as it's not implemented like stones and weeds. <laughs> That's going to be the challenge though, isn't it, Scooter? At least with, yeah, if you could do it sporadically. The other thing that would be cool, for as a mod maybe, instead of having to, here's one, who's, who's clever with scripting? Would there be a way to have a mod where you pay, I know they did it on, like, like the precision, here we go, precision farming, they had the, you could pay the contract to come in and scan your fields, and you got the results, right? Could you have the same where you had a contractor came in and you paid someone to do the fertilizing and spraying, so you could still have your weeds, and you could still have a cost to 
deal with them, but you wouldn't actually have to deal with them yourself. I'm trying to remember if it's been done or not. Drumsticks, what's up? Farming from Ohio, very close to that new Deer Creek map. Nice. Welcome along, nice to have you here. It's kind of in a bit of a daisy. Um, nice to see you, drumsticks. Hope you are doing well. Nice to see someone. Oh, I, this is what I love about this, is people live close to these areas, or in these areas, or something like that. I just think it's cool when you hear from someone and say, oh, I live close by to that. Michael, thank you very much for subscribing. Nice to have you here. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the content. Good to have you here. 5 a.m. on a Sunday in Queensland. Are you guys still three hours behind? Do you, do you, eight o'clock. So you guys don't have daylight savings, is that right, Aussie? Some f pivots, flood pipes, pumps, etc. Yeah, it's got to be great. You know, there's so many different ways to do it. You see how um, I don't know if even I watch Trevor Bales, Bales Ranch, a guy on YouTube, not like the way they flood their fields in Arizona with the drainage ditches and they pull the um open the ditch to flow into the field. It's pretty cool. Different ways they do it. It's fantastic. Oh, I did read something about that, Dan, about if you repair more frequently, it's cheaper. For the same engine hours. So if I run this, and you're looking at my repair bar, aren't you? So I must be nine hours on this tractor. It's going to cost me more now than if I'd repaired it twice. Oh. It's Tim here. Tim, check. PJ's in car, keep up the good work dude, welcome along mate, thank you very much for that, appreciate the kind words, I will certainly make an effort to keep it up, got the farm sim show construction map brand ready to go after the stream, <laughs> uh, well worth it, well worth it, winter time for you, winter in Texas isn't too much of a strain is it Michael, I know uh, Scorp and Scott tell me quite often what it's like over there, doesn't sound like it's too strange, too much of a stretch. Zach's playing Deer Creek right now. Nice. We talked about my uh, Creek fetish last week. How many maps I've played with Creek in the name. I think it's a prerequisite for any uh, map. Repairing at 0% is up to 3 times the cost of repairing with Course Play's Keep Healthy option. Ah, oh, because of course Course Play will do it for you, won't it? Ronnie Pat. Hey guys, I made it live for once. Welcome along, Ronnie. Nice to have you here. Good to see you. Orange, don't dry around my mouth. Talking too much. I'd like to see an organic option with high prices for organic growing crops. That would be cool too, Scott. I agree. However, would you have a lower yield? Is that where you is that where you challenge it? You'd get a higher price but a lower yield. For a high used vehicle with 50, over 50 hours of difference up to six times. That's pretty pretty high. The thing I don't like. We were talking about it in Discord. Um if you if I'd repaired this tractor before we went and came into the field and it was 100%, yes, it'll get damaged. It doesn't matter. It's not, so it's more for yields. So like if your combine has a yield penalty if it's damaged, right? And your header is worse than your combine, if I remember correctly how they've integrated into 22. If you have a yield penalty there, you should not be penalized if your combine was healthy and 100% health as it goes into the field. I don't know, what do people think? Like you're not going to go in and do any you know, engine service on your combine in the middle of the field, are you? You might change, you know, you might have some damage to your header, you might cut a, you know, hit a stone and break a sickle or, you know, you might have an issue with your belt or something like that if it's a draper or something like that might happen in your combine, you get a rock stuck somewhere. But you're not going to go out and do maintenance in the field. So you're not going to get penalised. It's just it's one that just seems a little bit backwards to me. Uh, right. There's a higher contract mod nineteen would we'll do field work. Can't remember. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Scooter. I thought there was. I just couldn't remember if or not. 
So an 8400R rather than the 8R410 that's in game now. Ah, is that the difference, Billy Boy? Thank you. Drumsticks, thanks. Hope you're doing well in New Zealand. Someday I'll go down there. Really want to see the Wanaka tree. Have you been? Uh, thanks for the sub, Drumsticks. Um, have I been to Wanaka? I've been to Wanaka. Um, not to go and see the tree, though. <laughs> I'm absolutely familiar with it. That's a very well photographed tree. Um, sorry about the sound, it's just because I had to tab out to read some of the chat. Don't have daylight savings in Queensland, didn't think that was right. Winter time for you, Michael. Yes, in Texas it will be. What was, uh, did Scorp say something about winter I did see? We sure next Wednesday, Michael. Are you getting a cold, like one cold day in Texas, are you, Scorp? PJs and K, my trusted source for new maps. Oh, thank you, mate. I do try and keep up on top of it. I wouldn't be there. Wouldn't, wouldn't, uh... Don't use me as your 100% resource. There we go. That's one way. I appreciate you using me. Um, I'm trying to keep up with everything. It's bloody tough. I'll tell you that. Two hours. I'm three hours in front of you at the moment. If it's just gone seven a.m., uh, just gone five a.m. for you because it's just gone eight a.m. for me. Because we're in daylight savings. That's the, that's where I was heading with that difference. Pretty mild in Texas. Uh, Dan, a person would continue to repair at 90% until a proper field maintenance truck comes out. Then the maintenance truck would be quite a highly used vehicle. Yep, that's one way to do it, I suppose. Um, there is the, there is the stand next to you, what is it, um, mobile mechanic or whatever, I can't remember what it's called, one where you can stand next to your tractor and press in, I think it was, and, and bring up those maintenance things, that's always one to try as well, but yeah, proper maintenance truck will be quite good, I don't know if John's here or not, but um, does Jonathan have any, if you are John, John have, Jonathan have any plans to turn the Super Duty into a maintenance, like use the boxes on the back as maintenance, it'd be cool if you did. Mark lives close to Frankenmuth, great local farming community, a little Bavaria, check out Snowfest it is this weekend. I'll take a look mate, thanks for that. Our summers are hot though, yes I, I came to, I had a week in Houston in, what time of year was that? October? I want to say October, might have been early November, um, but it was, it was stinking hot and that was what, leading into autumn. Scott's going to be AFK for a few minutes back soon. No worries, Scott. Scorps, I'm off grocery shopping time. Have a good rest. Yeah, all right, Scorp. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. It's been a quiet stream for you. You've gotten, had, we haven't had any uh, Russian intervention yet. Do you know if you can buy hog feed anywhere? Ronnie Pat. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any mods released yet. Any of the big bag mods or anything like that that have come out yet with um, hog feed in it. But Quiet Hitman's pack, um, which I reviewed earlier in the week, and I had an early access look at, he certainly has pig food in there and you can buy it in big bags or on pallets. So um, not yet that I'm aware of, but uh, certainly will be soon. There might be one, but I'm not quite sure. Dan saying for harvester yield, I have read the penalty starts at 70% or less maintenance, 0 to 40% yield hit. 70% on that because there's that other mod which came out recently which showed difference between what you had selected wasn't there oops um so we're on the tractor there it doesn't change I need to install that mod so you can see the difference because isn't the yield penalty only on the header rather than the combine as well or is it on is it on both can't quite remember Um, I'm trying to remember where Scorp's from. Where is he from? Someone will remember Scott. Scott will tell us when he's back. I want to say he's in the Dallas Fort Worth area, but I'm not quite sure if I'm right there. What's the AT&T Stadium? Tell me, you tell me where the, where the AT&T Stadium is, Michael. I'm pretty sure that's where he's just down the road from. I'm pretty sure that's the stadium name. I think he's always told us he's about a 10 minute drive from the AT&T. Ed Bokes, welcome along. Ed, nice to have you here. I missed another bit when I turned in there. Oh, goodness gracious me. PJ's in car, welcome. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. Uh, oh, and I can click back and forth and it's not going to disappear. All right, it's better. Nice to have you here, Ed. How's things doing, mate? Nice to see you. Get back in the truck. 
<laughs> you haven't got time to be watching Ed, apparently. Uh, our season's the opposite, it's winter. We are, because we're Southern Hemisphere, Michael. So we are. In, in January, it is the middle of summer for us. Like we've been baking in mid to high 20s Celsius. So if you can do the math to translate between one and the other, that will, uh, that will solve that for you. FS Academy states only the harvesters are affected by rocks and I believe only the header, although I haven't seen any test that. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I'll do, um, I'll have to look into that maybe, Dan. Because I wonder, like, other harvesters, like your beet harvesters and potato harvesters and that, I wonder what the damage yield penalties are on those. Ed Bokes, you're saying Dallas, Texas. AT&T, yeah, so he must be in Arlington. There you go. Must be around there. Is there anyone actually watching where they're going on <laughs> North Dakota? Those big fields, Christoph, you can just put cruise control and auto drive on and you're set. It doesn't matter. I haven't noticed them different from track to... In cab, they're different. I know, I've heard difference between in cab and out of cab for the GPS... Cam, uh, the drumstick, sorry. Um, but I haven't noticed the difference between tractors. Let's see if there's a different sound in here. Get to the headland end. That was oh, and then you get the doo doo. But it's different if you're outside. I think it's universal if you're outside. Twenty Celsius is sixty eight Fahrenheit. Well there you go, so we're must be in the what eighties, eighties ish? If we're mid twenties, the coolest phenomenon, of course, is the backwards flushing toilets. You know, it's funny, Dan. We were talking about um, at work the other day. We were, there's a quiz we and we do a daily quiz at work and morning tea, and a question came up about um, crocodile Dundee, and of course we went down the rabbit hole of talking about knifey spoony on The Simpsons, and of course that's the episode when Bart offends the uh, Aussies and he has to come over here and apologise and I've got that huge contraption in the embassy to make the toilet spin the right way. Homer stands there singing, what is it, oh Liberty? Fantastic, love the Simpsons. That's what you do but still. <laughs> uh, so if you listen for the beeps Christoph then you know you're sorted. In fact you turn, you get into your GPS and you turn has it got head? Oh, does it not have headland mode on it? Is that not added yet? Oh, headland mode on. Turn your headland mode on there, and it'll stop for you. Then you're never going to crash. Oops. Oh, no. What happened there? I've loaded up it. Oh, no. Did I manage to go in here and load up a different course? That's interesting. I didn't even click on anything to load another course on it, did it? If I can drive this and recreate it. How's that? Must be close. Have I done it? Looks alright, doesn't it? That's what I mean. Oh, so when you're in cab, it's different. Yeah, nice. It is cool, eh? It's a nice little touch. Oh, no, I'm going to miss that little piece. Bother. Live in Mesquite, which is 15 minutes away from Dallas. So there you go. Pretty close then, isn't it? In cab, different sound, yep. Dan's in Plano. Are you Texan as well, too, Dan? Ah. Andrew Kors, has anyone got the trucking and delivery working for AIs? Is that using the in-game workers, Andrew? I haven't tried doing it with those. 
I can get the deliveries and things like I had auto drive doing it. Had that's all sorted. Oh, I haven't got my wits right either, have I? My problem here. I can confirm that what you just said wasn't true. The other side of the field had some issues running into each other. Is that on, is that on North Dakota, Kristoff? Well, to those of you who are driving your tractors or trucks while watching me in North Dakota, please take care. We don't want any uh, workplace incidents. Bum some guy can't handle having that on his resume, so please do take care driving. It's a public service announcement over. Now, uh, Michael Lipman Plano, too. There we go. Betting it will remain bugged until third quarter when I think Giants will release their version of course play there. One sentence description of that released alludes to big IR improvements. Yeah. Interesting. Do I use headland management, Zach? No, I do not. My headland management is all in my hands. And uh all in my hands and in my head. I'm just reading. Dan's just had a Dan's just had a little typo and it's blocked his message. A couple of little there's two typos that your message started off with Dan, which which face uh, which YouTube hasn't liked at all. But anyhow, what did he say? Proud text most of my life, even though I still have worked around the world more than I have lived in text. There you go. Too late. <laughs> oh, how many? So Ed's, Ed, Jan, and Christoph are obviously all in the northern Dakota together. Danny's farms always wanted to visit Texas. I'm a little west guy on the west coast now. That's never too late, JNS. Never too late. Actually, um, my Texas trip was a little bit of a surprise, um, and really enjoyed it. Actually, really enjoyed Texas. So tell, tell me, Dan, what is that? Where, where, where does that mean you're from? Because it obviously wasn't a typo. I thought you were trying to say cool args. And it typed a typo cool and argsy or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can understand. I can understand why YouTube didn't like those two words. Oh, it's better than 19, still in work in progress. So, absolutely, PJ. 100%. 100%. Biggest, biggest, biggest comment I have about the game at the moment is it's only two months old. It's only just gone two months old. 30th of January for me, 29th for a lot of you. And it came out on the 22nd of November, so we're only a month, a week over two months. Um, ah, there's my little bug I get every now and then. Tabs out for some reason. Um, so if we have taken it and um, to have it functioning so well you know it hasn't I, mean, I know there's people like you know Mr. CDP is having huge issues by the sounds of things I haven't kept up with it but uh, he can't do mod reviews apparently because his game crashes all the time um, which is unfortunate and hopefully they'll be rectifying that as quickly as possible but uh, apart from those few issues that I'm hearing on console, really has gone pretty well as a release. The headland management, Zach, I agree. Yeah, I do need to download it. I'm just, I just struggle to keep up with the mods and things like that. Um, but also mindful, like Mantrid's auto engine start stop was a great, would have been a great mod, but. Um, I did hear it was causing a few issues with game crashes and corrupting saves, so I'm pleased I hadn't downloaded that. But yeah, headland management's one I do need to catch up. Ah, uh, so that describes a Louisiana and does it, Dan. <laughs> did I get seasons mixed up when I visited Texas? No, I don't think so, Michael. I mean, considering I was leaving, was I leaving our spring to come to your autumn, it was still pretty hot. 
in fact we were there very soon after what was the hurricane four years ago which caused quite a lot of flooding around Houston Slang for a raging Cajun, right? <laughs> yes, they did say they had plans to improve the AI as it came along, Janice. That's why a lot of people thought course play might have been baked into it a little bit more than it was. Um, but even so, I think they've done a pretty good job. Can't see, I was just trying to see if I could spot the roller over there. Where are they on the map? Ah, uh, they're doing those little pieces right down in the bottom corner. Hundred percent, Zach it is going to surpass, and then some. I would say. Oh, don't do that! Don't swing out there. Scooter, you thought Mantra had fixed already? He probably has. You're probably quite right, Scooter. I'd imagine if he was having those kind of um, those kind of problems, it would be fixed pretty quickly. One thing I've noticed: I thought I was having problems with the game. So when I'm not on cruise control. Like, I'll just turn cruise control off. When I use my controller to accelerate the tractor, oh, that wasn't too bad. It seems a bit slow sometimes. But I was having the same issue with, I think my controller must have a faulty trigger where it's not detecting the input quite as much. Better all I could put it because I was having the same issue on FS19 when I had a bit of a play around the other day. How many Texans do we have in the chat? Uh, I know of four of well if Dan's calling himself a Texan I know there's at least four in here Michael not bad out of the 60 or 70 viewers we've got at the moment corn pop welcome along my friend best dang farm some youtuber right here folks ah oh, mate that is going a bit too far a bit too far there's some pretty talented uh, creators out there but I really do appreciate you saying that do appreciate those words thank you very much mate Thank you very, very much. Dan visited New Zealand when I was in my teens. Crazy having Christmas during the summer, but with climate change not out of the ordinary now for us to have shorts weather on Christmas Day from time to time. I'd be the opposite if I came to uh, came to the northern hemisphere and had a snowy winter, a snowy Christmas. That would be that would be funny as well, or out of the ordinary. Will seem a bit strange. Haha, <laughs> Legion, you've parked the car. I hope. Don't forget to hit the like. Indeed, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to leave a thumbs up for us and show your support. If you're not already subscribed, take a couple of seconds to hit that sub button. Be much appreciated. Keep up to date with uh, what's going on in the channel. And make sure if you're enjoying the live stream and you want to catch them all, make sure you've got that notification bell turned on as well. So you hear and see when we're live next. But pretty much always this time. Uh always this time for me on a Sunday morning so Saturday afternoons and evenings for you folk unless you're in New Zealand or Australia of course you if you are all parked <laughs> oh well, while you were driving Legion I gave uh, I gave a shout out to your hard work you've done on the multiplayer servers and uh, the fact that next weekend's stream we're going to try and stream from one of the servers um, not sure which one but Certainly have encouraged as many people as would like to to get involved and get on those, get in and join them. You can hear the fun the guys are having on the Farm Some Guys Northern Dakota server. So I think with uh, if we're running seasons on a lot of them, there's probably a bit more of an opportunity to server hop a little bit more because there'll be some downtime. So you play a few different maps and let things tick over in your absence and know that you're not going to miss out because uh, that keeps on going. You have Christmas and winter, but this year it was 85 degrees on Christmas Day. It would be shorts weather, Michael. You'd enjoy how people act when it snows. Why do they go crazy or just... See, it, like in winter where I am, it doesn't even snow. We've had snow once, twice, once in my lifetime. At least snow. It snowed a couple of times. Um, oh, Dan, thank you very much for subscribing. Appreciate that. Um... It's, where am I hitting with that? It's, in my lifetime it snowed once where I live, enough for the snow to settle on the ground. It's been cold and you can see 
flurries on a couple of other occasions, but um, the ground temperature was too hot and didn't settle. Well, it wasn't it wasn't for long enough, but um, yeah, I've certainly had had an inch or two of snow settle once in my life. Mike Taylor, thank you for what you do in the game. You've made me enjoy new tasks. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that, Mike. You know what I really appreciate is when viewers play the play the same map and you hear about what they're doing or something they've learnt from something I've done on the game. Um, that's pretty cool. It's always nice and you. Someone might pop in, like Scott George, for example. Scott's been a, a big, big um, supporter of the channel for a long time. But just hearing how he's playing Deer Creek different to how I'm doing it, you know, the fact he said he ploughed these four fields up here, three, four, five, and six, all into one big field. Um, I know, he'd, I know, he'd scorpion speeded a couple of his bits of equipment and increased some capacity, but it's just cool to hear how you guys play maps, the same map I'm playing, how you might play it a little bit differently, or if there's a tip you picked up from the way I've used course play or auto drive or something like that. Um, it's just very cool to hear. So here we go. Zando Gamer, welcome along. Thank you very much for that subscription. Appreciate that. I am going to assume Zando, you are saying greetings from Brazil. So greetings back to you as well, my friend. Welcome along. Yep, as Legion said, options open for all on the server. Lots of different things to do. When it snows, everyone goes nuts. <laughs> Ah, the man, the myth, the legend that is Mark Thor. Welcome in, my friend. Nice to have you here. Just got in from work. You're doing, doing the hard yards on a sun Saturday. Gosh, just got in from work. It's, it's 20 past 7 your time, isn't it? Really are doing the hard yards. 20 past 7 in the middle of winter and you're out working on a Saturday. Nice to see you, though. Good to have you here. Actually, had to turn on the air conditioning on Christmas Day. It's silly if you don't believe in climate change these days. Hot topic, Dan. Um, but yeah, I agree. The the I'm not going to get into a big discussion on it. The hardest thing I think people struggle with climate change is the forecasted scope of it when you start talking about sea levels and things like that. Yeah. Um, being a country where 80% of our population live within 20 kilometers or 10 miles of the ocean. Um, it's pretty hard for people to comprehend half a meter of sea level rise and how far that's going to inundate in some properties and things like that. Don't forget how to drive when it snows. Coming up to Wisconsin, you can see snow from November, December through to March, April. Wow. I'll tell you what, this guy in our other field is going to make us broke. 900 bucks for another hour. And let's actually have a look. How far has he got across his rolling? No, he's doing all right. Doing all right. This is going to be the uh, a patchwork field. Interesting, he's missed that a little bit. I wonder if he's coming back to finish that. Probably will, because I think we set him up on skip rows, shouldn't we? So he should be skipping rows now. You've got lots of snowflake. Come pick some up. <laughs> you can keep it all to yourself, mate. All to yourself. How are you? Welcome in. Ice is the western Dallas, as no one knows how to drive on ice, and it takes 40 hours for the city to salt the roads up north. Not a big problem because they're prepared. That's often the problem here, too. Although, where it does snow on our alpine routes, they're pretty prepared, and they'll close the roads pretty quick, too. Hans, welcome along. Good evening to you. I hope you're having a nice weekend. It's be Saturday evening. I'm going to take a stab. Because it's not Sunday evening yet. It's Sunday morning for me. And it's too long ago to have been Friday evening. Snow is up to your chest yesterday out on track line when you jump off the sled. Wow, what part of the world are you in, Corn Pop? Up to your chest, that's nuts. Drumsticks, what do I do for a living or do you stream play full time? I do not stream and play full time. Certainly uh, could not afford to be doing that. I am an architect. I have my own business here. We uh, mainly do residential housing. A little bit of 
light commercial type work so um, doing some work for a church at the moment done some service stuff small office buildings sort of uh, four or five hundred square meters so but yeah mainly mainly residential Scott George is back what did you miss uh, we've been talking about the weather in Texas we were figuring out where actually where you tell Michael Michael was asking where everyone and all the Texans were from so what part of Texas are you in Scott we had to figure out where um Scott was we got to I remember he was close to the AT&T Stadium we figured out that was in Arlington so Northern British Columbia Canada ah no wonder it's uh no wonder you're deep in snow so Black Book's a fellow Canadian aren't you Black Book which part of Canada are you in or have I have I must forgotten it's hard to keep up with where you all are I need a uh I need a Farm some subscribers map for subscribers directory where I can pin your Your uni has a renowned architect program, Kent State. Ah, nice. I haven't heard about that, Drumstokes. The dream job of George Costanza. <laughs> uh it's like every job, Dan, you um you know, you spend all your years studying for it and learning how to design and all those fun things, you know. You think you're going to be the world's greatest architect and you get all these awesome design jobs and then 90% of it's bloody paperwork and dealing with permits and compliance and all of those kind of carry on. And probably 10% of it's design and 1% of that 10% is the good design. But I enjoy it. It's good fun. It's, it's uh, every day's different. Every 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 project. Well, not every day, but every project's different. Um, which is what what I enjoy, and I'd love the client interaction. I love getting the feedback. The best parts when you when you there's two good parts. One, when you see what you've designed, built, and you you know this this idea that you've had in your head, that you've put on paper, you've come up with all of the detail on how to build it is complete and it turned out exactly as you want um, and the other is when you've done that for a client and you get their feedback from them like I had a client whose house I designed and she told me she was a princess she just felt like a princess in it that was cool north of Fertworth thank you Scott go Black Books Ontario born so yeah all worth it yeah um so mark you've, you've you've missed my internet issues i've had it for the last couple of months i'm i'm or last month i'm now using starlink and starlink will be good 99.9% .9 of the time but every now and then i'll get these little two second um two second drops and my connection will just show up yellow and issues all over the place but it it um fixes itself very quickly How's the contractor interaction? Um, it's good. Yeah, I enjoy that side of getting out on site and seeing things built too. Black book. Um, a lot of the work we do is we don't get too involved with the construction side of things. Find that it's uh, it's nice to well when you're doing residential work and it's someone's own money. I always find that they build a better relationship and get a better result if they are dealing directly with the builder on a day-to-day -day basis than having us poking our noses in and then having to relay information back and forth between the two parties. But being a small town, you know, small city, 100,000 maybe, if you counted the wider region, maybe 130,000 people around here, you get to know the main contractors pretty well and you build good relationships with them, work with them multiple times, it's good. See, we're gonna we get you can have another drop here in a second. Mark uh, went red and now it's green again. Right, well we've got further across this field than I thought. What, the, way we, the time it took us to get around the headlands, I thought we were going to be here forever.
but we don't have much left. We've got the rollers still heading down over here. How's he going? To be honest, Skip Rose, yeah, he is. I think we'll finish off this field and then we'll go right along in the Challenger for a while. Now that's all going. But it's not, I'm actually going to have to leave him running for too long to, to get that finished. But as you can see, we've got another another layer of fertilizer we need to put on that. So I'm not, I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. Might have to use the um, dry fruit spread we had. We do full design, Legion. So our processes, our consenting and everything like that, we have to have everything basically detailed and planned down to the last nail, I suppose. Um, drawn before we can get building permits. Which makes it a little bit difficult because if something changes, and I know you're in the contracting side of things, if something changes on site, um, for whatever reason, it's got to be, the drawings have to be all updated and consents amended and all sorts of things. Scott, look at my forecast, it looks like it's going to repeat. Are you really happy with Starlink? We're 70k's from town, no power lines, so we're off grid and have to use sad internet and I find mobile player is so hard to play, too much lag and was looking into Starlink. Um, I could not recommend it higher corn pop, I'm the same, we're 15 minutes out of town and um, our house, we only built our house 6 years ago, years old, um, and we didn't put a copper phone line in and there's no fibre, um, so our only options has been wireless and I've gone through this is Starlink's my third provider. We used um, a local service here which does um, wireless internet. So I see an aerial on the hills 15 k's away from us which point we point an aerial at the um, broadcast or the transmitter. And that one started off okay. Then, then I found one which was faster, more closer to fibre speeds and that's been that was good to start with, I think they've got too popular and their bandwidth's getting sucked up by too many people and they haven't kept up with it um, and it costs more than Starlink to keep the same speeds and data and all that sort of stuff so um, Starlink's been good. The main thing I did find with Starlink is the modem and the wireless is pretty terrible. Um, we were lucky enough to get the last generation of their modems which have a LAN output on them and the new ones don't which I think is a bit narrow minded. Um, so we've been able to put a mesh network in and that's improved it no end. So I've actually got a, where I'm sitting at my PC at the moment, I've got a mesh, um, one of the little satellite units right behind my computer and while that's wirelessly connected to the other um, satellite that's by the modem, I'm actually hardwired into that, so that actually works quite well. Emmanuel Santos, thank you very much for the subscription, I really appreciate that. Welcome along to the channel. What I wouldn't give for a design team that could do a full design. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what happened last year, February between Valentine's Day and 21st Texas, Texas had the worst winter storm in its history, it got down to zero and our power grid almost fell. They shut down our powers and some people were dying because of hypothermia because we had no heaters because of our powers. I, yep, uh, I do remember that, Michael. That was um, that was all across the news here in New Zealand. And obviously, you know, Scorp and Scott were telling us about what was happening, keeping us informed. A bit of a, uh, hopefully, hopefully they've learnt and might have built a bit of resilience into the system or done some upgrades in the last wee while to try and avoid that happening again. Although, knowing how um, network companies and those like those work in New Zealand, if they're anything like us, then they won't have learnt from it, or they'll, they'll still be going through the planning phase and figuring out how they need to get approvals and those kind of things. Patting each other on the backs to say they've done enough, but they haven't. Such a pessimist. Whereas my wife's not standing over my shoulder saying, you sound like your father. Alright. Oh, we're cracking along this field when... Uh, oh, we'll turn around. When we turn around, we'll take a look at the planning schedule. There's going to be corn in this one. These are my plans. Use the house wiring to extend your Wi-Fi using the plugs. Oh, yeah. 
that work well, Mark? I've had mixed reports on how good that works. I've actually, uh, how, when we built our house, I put network cables the whole way through it. I've just never been finished, never been properly wired up. Right, so I was going to take a look at that planting. Where is that? There. So we've planted our barley. Our barley's harvested here early in June because we planted early in September. So hopefully it's really there. The idea being we go from barley harvest to soybeans. Yeah, and then we can harvest the soybeans at the same time. We will be harvesting corn. So this field and field number nine is it? I had to go up here. Field nine, field four, and field nine are going to be corn. Uh, so we can't plant those to April. So once we're done in here, these two fields will be ready. I was thinking about putting some fertilizer on. We might do that actually. We might put some dry food or something on them. Spread that on them before we um before we plant. So then we get our two applications of fertilizer done. So that could be something. Get them prepped. Get them fertilized before winter. We need to. We're going to have to weed that field, aren't we? This one's rolled now, but we're going to end up with weeds on it soon. I think. Have weeds turned on? Or I do. Uh, weeds are on. Weeds, lime, plowing. The only thing I've turned off so far is stones because there was no way I was going to go through and pick stones on these fields. It was all over the news in all the other states, but we didn't know what was happening because we couldn't watch in the air. True, of course. Very true. And there's things like you see a lot of those. That's, is it? I mean, any disaster, of course, like with the volcano and that in Tonga, you know, there's very little information. Took a long time to come out what's happening. Depends on the age really and quality works well for us. The age of the users, Mark, and as in terms of what you want it for and what your expectations are or the age of the wiring. Yeah, you better check your bingo ticket, Mark. Keep up with the bridge club. Great time to buy a pallet stove or corn stove. Corn stove? I've never heard of a corn stove black book. Are you ready, Scott? Bought a portal generator after the storm last year. I bet you a lot of people did that, did they, Scott? Were they hard to find? I'm sure they were hard to find during the during the crisis, but So anyhow, that was, uh, that was the plan we have for the farmer moving forward. So this series I want to take to probably getting the corn and soybeans harvested. I think we've, once we've been a season on here we will be uh, as good as done. We do have to keep mindful actually. When is the best time to sell our sorghum? Price fluctuations. January, February. Are we doing anything in January and February? No we are not. So we're going to have a big blank period. So we'll probably... Uh, what are the next few episodes going to be? I like to try and think forward. Um, we fertilise these couple of fields, weed the other field and sell our sorghum. So that's probably the next two episodes done before we'll be into planting corn. Yeah, planting corn. Age of the house wiring. <laughs> I thought you'd like that, Mark. Tonga Volcano is doing the same thing now that Krakatoa in the late 1800s, except it's underwater. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens, PJ. Keeping an eye on that. Apparently because it was underwater, though, made it more violent. Because the way the um, hot lava and magma interacts with the seawater. Made it more explosive. Can't have an open flame heater in an apartment complex. Are you in an apartment spot? How do you run a generator then? Or not? Just like a wood stove, but they burn corn. So when you say that burns corn, do you like is it is it um 
Shield corn. Shield corn. Just like you, the corn kernels. What is the word, word I'm looking for? Kernels. Olaf. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, my friend? Welcome along. Ah, there we go. Black box got us. Pellet stoves burn. Wood pellets, corn stoves burn, corn, corn, corn kernels. Yeah. Yeah, explosive water. <laughs> Some tough quality H2O. How are things in your part of the world, Olaf? Doing well, mate? Is it effect? No, no, no. We had the tsunami affected a one marina up in north of New Zealand, where kind of the surge just pushed in and damaged some um, berths and swamped a couple of boats. But other than that, there was no impact. Um, I didn't hear it though, but people. And I know people who did hear the sonic boom from the um, eruption, though. Blameless tent heater. The old corn, it's fed in slowly by a little auger. Oh yeah, so it's exactly like, like um, Black Book said, exactly the same as wood pellets, but you put in corn kernels in. The pellet heater works in the same way, doesn't it? Slowly, slowly feeds it in. Here's going to be a test of how well I did with getting my course back set up. Because I've already run down this left edge once. No. The shame of it all. The shame of it all. It'll be, you know, Scott, you know who's going to pop in right in this. The next minute, Tim Maslin will be here. The Zosu D alarm will be going off. Exactly, yeah, you, are, you have hit the nail on the head there, Dan. That is 100%. Honestly, when I um was watching it on the news and like there was some images coming through like only an hour or two afterwards and you could see the tsunami wave in there, I was surprised there was only the three lives as well. It was very, very fortunate. Stormy we are, Olaf, you've got to keep your head down. Head down and play farm some. <laughs> Zach, it's my own fault. I When I bumped the course earlier and had to redo it. GPS rough shame. I'm just enjoying driving this tractor so much, I'm going to go back and sort it out. We need to clear some debt too actually. What have we got a loan of? $250,000. Gosh. Managed to make some money off these fields. I must have got the angle slightly different actually. That's the main issue. Because that line was run on GPS before. Now because I can't see it from here, does that mean I don't have to go down and do it? It does it show up on the map? Just to leave the row for the crows. Ah, it does show up. Can't have that. Always got that little strip left at the end. We'll get rid of it. We'll take it out. Alright, it's, uh, it's up and done that quicker than I thought. Honestly, like I said before, I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Same with the roller actually, he's cracking across there. I suppose the fact that like when I was planting it felt like it took a long time, but you don't have to uh, refill all the time. That probably added to the time it took test plot. <laughs> I like the sorghum texture, how it shows the head still there. 
Well, that's sorry, a lot of the stork cats just strip them. It's very cool. Starve the crows. <laughs> Ah, they've got that cornfield. Look at that corn in there. They'll be more than happy. Alright. Rip our way back over the field and uh, we're done. One day ahead of you. I am one day ahead of you indeed. Can't help you with a lot of numbers though, Michael. I'm sorry. Um, we were talking earlier right at the start, for those who haven't been here for the whole stream, make sure you go and check out the Farm Some Guys video he has released. I know everyone here is a very intelligent person and won't be complaining about mods being released on Facebook or why they're PC only. But I think it's worth going and having a watch and understanding why modders and the like and making the decisions to use the platforms they are or only releasing on PC. I think it's a quite an important little quite an important little video to understand, particularly the um comments and some of the attitude that the community's had lately. I'm not saying any of you here are like I said you're well educated and understand those reasons, but I think it's worth going and uh taking a look at. So make sure you do once the stream's over, go and check out what he has done. And while you're there, go and ask him where Lego are, because he's gone. I've noticed I've fallen off the bottom of his microphone. You don't know what I'm talking about. Show you my little Lego, Lego Arxie. Okay. Lego, Lego Arxie. We're going to hit a post button. Sorry. Sorry about the mailbox. Just ignore that. Oh, oh. I've got a little Lego FSG there as well. They sit on top of my monitor. Has Courseplay got any better? Are they still adding new updates all the time? It's still adding updates all the time, Corn Pop. Um, the latest update added in multi tool support, which is exciting. And you'll be able to run those dual combines a little easier than you were able to. Notice how hard it was to turn into that gate with the truck when I was doing my course play or auto drive course. All right. The other thing, I'm going to have to get the toolkit because I can't get this tractor. I don't think that uh, that's going to fit in there. Also, there's a weird little. Is it, see the lines on the ground here? For some reason, they translate. You can see it on the front of the wheel there. It gets the same texture. There's something in here in the map with a shadow or something that's causing these funny lines. Don't know what it is, but it appears on the the tractor. Any any uh, mod that you place in here, any bit of equipment, gets it on it. It's weird. Never seen it do that before. How old is Tomorrowland? Tomorrowland is as old as it wants to be, because it is tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. It was a nice size field, Mark. <laughs> oh, that would be... That, I'd pay to see that, Dan. <laughs> I'm going to make sure... I'm going to make sure that's suggested to him. I wish that warning was... You could turn that off. I don't like it. And I don't like, like it used to be, you could only go so far and it wouldn't let you go any further. Now it turns it off completely, which is frustrating, because if you're trying to work, if you're trying to push the limits, I need to just get to here, and you go just that little bit too far. Like, I know it's got a hose, but just let me stop there. Uh, anyhow, always something to complain about.
Zek just had my first mod released on all platforms, and if I never had to do proper icons again, I wouldn't complain. What was your mod, Zach? Tell us about it. Tell us which one it is. Promote yourself. Let's get some downloads in there. Let's go all go download Zach's mod and make sure you give it a rating. And tell me off for driving on my planted field. Right. There we go. Let's go and ride along with the roller. We'll leave him on course plate. We'll just ride along here for a little bit. How far are we through? Yeah, doing pretty well. Let's see how this is all going. 1.7 hours. Level of detail thing. Well, with the tech yeah, it's weird. I don't know. It only happens when you're parked outside the shed, though, PJ. I need a modded washer. <laughs> I must have, yeah, Dan, I'm just strong, and when every time I pull the hose too far, it just pops off. Construction <laughs> map, <laughs> Dan. Oh, the mobile toolbox was yours, Zach. Oh, nice. I, will, I can tell you what, I will certainly be downloading that. Did you do that for 19 as well? Was that yours? Because it was PC only at 19, wasn't it? Or was it never on ModHub? You go, Scooter's got you. Yeah, using the icon generator works perfectly. Oh, there you go. You all need to go download Zach's mobile or toolbox. You started that map yesterday, the construction one, PJ. Yeah. It's not bad, but plenty of work to do on it. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, that that's, looks like what they tried to do to get it. Um, give people something as an option to do that on. Scorp, welcome back to the chat, Scorpion's Edge. You were leaving. I'm waiting on wife to leave, got a haircut first. Ah, there we go. You do use the icon generator? Ah, there we go. Just another little hurdle we had to jump through, I suppose, Zach. I reckon 7 miles, I don't know what others think, 7 miles per hour feels slow for drawing, running a roller. And you are just pulling something across the ground. Would have thought you'd be able to go a little bit faster. Oh, you were a console player for 19, so wasn't you? Yeah. Anyone know if the Maze Plus guys are going to come out with anything for 22? I believe they are working on it, Corn Pop. Can't be 100% certain. Olaf, you don't need a haircut anymore. You got none left to cut. Everyone who complains about going bald, it's really just a money saving technique, isn't it? Your roller go here. Of course, yours would go 17 miles per hour, Scorp. Carmson's getting Maze Plus. Ah, there you go. Legion's onto it, as always. 7 miles per hour is slow for a roller. Yeah, I would have thought so too. Let's just have a look. Is that what it said? Yeah. Realistic. Is there a realistic speed mod out already too? Maybe I could try that. If that changes it up. And we're done. So well, the main reason I want to watch this is to see how Courseplay handled turning here. It's uh, doing pretty well so far. So I mean, I found um, these articulated, uh, not articulated, track tractors trying to turn too tightly and get caught up on drawbars. Oh, there goes my controller disconnecting. Back controller. It's done an alright job actually, dodging that hitch. But jerky. Oh, the muddy in cab. I haven't driven the Challenger before, to be fair. Always intrigued by the steering wheel shape on them. 
Very interesting looking steering wheel. Radio, air conditioning. Pretty standard tractor cab really, isn't it? I used a large new Holland to pull my roller 44 and pull it 9 miles per hour. Yeah. Which rollers? Oops. Which, that's a, are the grass rollers? It's a grassland. Do they go faster? I oh, no, that's still 7 miles per hour. Hmm. It's around too much any faster. <laughs> You're here, decided to leave. You just outgrew it, Olaf. Couldn't keep up with your height. You're a dynamic head. <laughs> yeah. Right, where are we at? Almost running up to 9 o'clock. Good timing, good timing. An extension bar would be handy for turns and nightmare for reversing though. Yeah, it's something that pushes it out just a little bit. It's just these tracked ones, like when the hitch is inside the back wheels. Doesn't look like you can. Some tractors, you can slide the hitch out further. Doesn't look like the Challenger has that. Oh, go inside the mod. Inside the roller. Alright, well I think we're going to leave course play to run this and uh, get this field all done. So next time, when uh, next episode, which I'll be recording, will be, like I said, will either be spraying this field for weeds or spreading some dry fertiliser. Um, getting some fertiliser on the other fields. And then we'll be ready to skip forward some time and catch up on... Uh, Catch up into some harvest or some more planting first, actually, when we're planting the corn. But I think this is a perfect time to wrap up the stream there. So, thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate having you all here. Been fun chatting to you all. Welcome to all the uh, new subscribers. Great to see some new faces in chat and uh, and chatting to you all about what's going on in life. So, as always, thank you everyone for watching. Thanks to the mods for uh, your help as well keeping things on track everyone was misbehaving today there was so much to do you guys were busy no hackers no no spammers it's a first right thanks everyone hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh look forward to catching up with you in the next one